Are you asking, are you asking, what, wait, repeat it? I can't hear. When Jesus died, what was his age? About 33. And, and where is the grave? What did he say? And where is his grave? Well, how old was Jesus when he died? Okay, that's 30. And what did you say? And where was, where is the grave? Yeah. Well, he's, 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 he's alive. He's alive. He rose again from the dead. He's alive. He's sitting at the right hand of the Father right now as we speak. Yeah, so what do you mean? Well, he left the tomb empty. So he's alive. If, if he... So if he's alive, so why people says he paid for our sins? He died for us. Like oh, that's very easy for you, Sabir. Let me educate you, Sabir. <laughs> no, actually, it sounds like Sabir. He probably changed his name. Mm. That's Sabir, like me, my very short friend. Oh no. Okay, oh, I'm no, just saying. Listen, 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 okay, let me let me explain to you. Okay. Sabir, do you want me to answer your question, or do you want to just keep preaching? Yeah, you can ask. Uh, you can answer me. Okay. Now, uh, if Jesus died to pay the debt of sin, he's paying our debt. How do you know that the debt was accepted? Because the debt is death so he sinned he owes a debt he has to die jesus says i'm gonna pay his debt for him so i'll die in his place so now sabio use a little logic because i know you're smart if jesus pays his debt that means now there's no debt that means now death has to be canceled right yeah so oh, so you just so answered, you know, how do you know then death was canceled if you didn't rise from the dead you just answered the question his resurrection shows that he paid the debt canceling out death because if he didn't rise from the dead, then that means his death was not accepted as payment. So what's your next question? You may not change the subject. The subject. So, so my another question is like, if uh, Jesus, you guys say Jesus is son of God and he's God. So that makes me, you guys have two gods, father and son. Well, oh, that's, yeah, well, that's what you, if you want to think that, that's fine. But uh, <laughs> you're again showing you don't know Christianity and you don't know Islam too much. Because no, if no, you, I well, I'm going to explain to you why. why. You want to know or you want to just talk and preach because you think it's Qutbah. It's Jumah, right? Okay. Why do you assume that a father and son are two the same persons? It means they must be two different gods because you're committing sure. So pay attention to my question because you just committed sure. Why do you assume, listen to my question, that if the father and son are not the same person, they're distinct persons, therefore they can't be the same God. Where do you get that assumption from? So, okay, what's your point then? Then make your point clear then. No, they I'm asking you, you said it has to be two gods. I'm asking you, that means you just committed sure if you understand, but that's why I'm gonna help you understand. So I'm gonna ask you again, why do you assume that a father and son are not the same person? They can't be one God if they're different persons. What are you assuming? Because if, if God can create Adam and Eve without... You change the subject. That's not my question. That's not my question. Sefi, now you're being disrespectful because you can't stay on topic like the other man. Let me repeat my question again because I'll deal with Adam and Eve. That's a very bad example. I'll get to your Adam and Eve in a minute. Let me repeat my question again. Why do you assume that a father and son are not the same person? They're two different persons. Therefore, they can't be one God. What are you assuming? You didn't tell me what you're assuming because you're going to end up committing shirk. So I'm trying to lead you to shirk. Okay, let me tell you my point. Because they are not the same person because Jesus used to worship God. Okay, why, why do you assume if they're not the same person, they can't be one God? So if they are the same, why do need to? Why does Jesus need to worship God? The same reason why your Allah worships and prays. So that means he can't be God. Don't use that argument. That's a terrible argument. Stick with uh, the argument. If Jesus is not the idea. Father, Jesus is not the Father, he can speak to the Father. He can honor the Father, submit to the Father like the Father speaks to him and honors him because they're not the same person. So answer my question because I'm going to use the argument against you. I'm going to show you all is not God, but just be patient. I'm still waiting for the answer. If Father and Son are not the same person, why do you assume that means they can't be one God? I still didn't hear the answer. I, I, I make my point clear, but okay. now you have to answer. Now let me answer you. They're one, then how they are one? I want to know. That's because why they're one in nature. You can have... You can, okay, I'm answering you. Oh, stuff for Allah, get stuff for Allah. You can have more than one person who possesses the same nature. They are one God because their nature is one, though they're not one person. That's number one. Number two, let me answer you step by step. Jesus is not the Father. That's why Father and Son can speak to one another, love one another, honor one another, and glorify one another. They're not the same person. Moreover, Jesus also became man. He's God who became man, and he became the perfect man, to show what perfect humans are supposed to be like. And the perfect man perfectly submits to God. 
And he became the perfect man to perfectly submit to the Father. So we have your answers, but you don't have ours. Let me go down. No, no, I answer you. No, no listen, you didn't answer listen, anything. Listen, whenever I say something, you say mm -hmm. it's shirk or you No, no, you didn't do it shirk. You didn't follow. You know, that thing is disrespectful. If you are associating a person, if a person I'm not associating you, anything. God, 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 I'm not associating God. a creature to God, so you're not listening. I'm telling you, God is not one person. We're not Muslim. So then God Pagans. should be called a God, not why it's called a single God. Okay, now, now, since you changed the subject you ran, I understand you're scared of the subject. Now I'm going to ask you questions. You say you believe God is one, right? No. No, you don't, because is the Quran created or uncreated? Is if the, I'm saying is the Quran God, created or uncreated, Safi? I answered your questions. Respect God, me and listen. Is the Quran created or uncreated? Sorry, what? Is the Quran created or uncreated? Quran is the book of God. Is it created or uncreated? What do you mean? Like in what sense? You want me to teach you your deen? You want a Christian to teach you your deen? No, Ahl al sunnah wa jama'ah. Ahl al sunnah wa jama'ah teach. The Quran is kalam Allah, speech of Allah. It's one of the sifat attributes and it's uncreated. If you say Quran is created, makhluk, you are outside the fold of Islam. So are you a Catholic? Uh, now I forgot your word. What do you want to say? Okay, is the Quran uncreated? Quran is not created by men. Quran well, you know, so it's created by God? So God created the speech? Men. That's what it means. Okay, so did God create the Quran? Did God, God create the Quran? Did God create the Quran? See, it's another waste of time. He doesn't listen. Did God create the Quran? Yes. Then you are a pagan. Muslims, no, I want you to want single this man out and clip it. Um, a munafiq, a kafir, no, no, no. munafiq, kafir, who said, Allah oh, created the Quran. He is Ibn Shaitan. He denied the Sunnah. Okay, take it easy. Say hi to Aisha when you see her. Take it easy.